Good morning. Today we're here at Target. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, a lot of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. So today we're going to go in and check out some of the things that you guys have asked about. A lot of things that have been a growing concern that a lot of stores across the country have been out of. Uh, we're not going to just check the food today. We're going to check some medicines, some other products, uh, some things that people have really been struggling to get in. We've gotten a lot of comments on some of these things. I kind of talked it over with Jessica. Target is a good spot for some of the things that we're going to check out today to see if they have them. We've gotten some emails too of people who are don't want to you know explain some things in the comments and that's okay we're going to check those out today too okay so the first thing we're going to check out as soon as we come into target here is some of the medicines we've been getting a lot of comments that medicines have had a lot of them have been missing in a lot of your stores across the country uh, we've gotten a few comments from georgia um, a couple comments from north carolina and pretty much scattered all throughout the country so i want to make sure and check out some of the medicines that Target has here. It does seem like it's fairly low. We're going to have to keep an eye on this stuff. Uh, this may be some stuff that we might have to stock up on here in the future. One of the biggest ones has been Tylenol or acetaminophen, which is the ingredient in Tylenol. Um, and as you can see, you know, we always get the generic brands. $1.99 for a hundred count here, a hundred count of Tylenol is 10.59. It's the same thing, it's the exact same thing. So a lot of people were talking about getting the generic brands on the channel and I agree. Um, ibuprofen was another one. Uh, we do see that this went up. These were 5.99, now they're 7.99 for the 500 count of the generic ibuprofen. I did see that these went up at Kroger too. Uh, the two packs that we would usually get just to have, they went up from $10.99 to $12.99, so a lot higher. Um, and as you can see, the Advil brand is a lot more expensive, but they do seem like they have plenty of ibuprofen. But again, the biggest one that we got most comments on were Tylenol. And the funny thing about this is six months ago, this was the same thing that was missing around here. We had gone around checking out where, where we could find it because it was pretty much empty. The one thing that we have gotten a ton, I mean a ton of comments on have been band-aids. Now I, I was kind of, when I first read the first couple comments, I thought maybe it was just one store. You know, it's like it takes several comments to really uh, you know, for it to hit home, you know, when a lot of people, when I, when I noticed 20 to 30 comments on a product, we're, we're racing to find out what's going on. It does look like band-aids are very low here. And this is something we'll have to check around. Surprisingly for Target, uh, like I said, I was talking to Jessica about a lot of these products and, you know, we were trying to think of a place that would have them out of most places. And we thought Target, um, but yeah, I mean, they are very low on a lot of this stuff here. Uh, some people said band-aid prices were going up too. These are things that we really haven't checked on, but we will here in the future, maybe not as extensive as we are today, but we will keep an eye out on these things because yes, it is a bit of a concern. So when somebody asks me what allergy medicine always works the best, I say go to the store and whichever one that they are least or whichever one they are most out of. Um, look at that and that's probably the one that works the best <laughs> That being said I will say that it looks like they're not getting Flonase in and a lot of the Afrin that they have here looks like it is completely Empty because I, I don't know I can't imagine that they would sell all this without getting it back in especially with how much they're getting in with Zyrtec and Claritin um, We have gotten some comments on allergy medicines not as much as like Tylenol and Advil But I did want to check out this stuff too just to see what it's looking like because you know we usually just cover the food on the channel here but it's looking like we're going to need to start checking out some of these things as well we have started getting comments again on different vitamins and stuff i will say that target doesn't usually carry a bunch uh, a lot of the comments we got were on the nature made and we'll have to check around because a lot of these uh we can find in some stores where they have like buy one get one free um, and we'll have to keep an eye out on some of the prices of these too. But I, I noticed a couple weeks ago, Kroger had a buy one, get one free on a lot of the nature made products. So we'll check that out next time we go to Kroger. 
I gotta say, with some of these vitamins too, you do have to check some of the generic brands. They have the up and up version, which is Target, which on some of it's a little cheaper, but some of them are the same price. So keep that in mind. Um, does look like they're low, but like I said, it doesn't seem like Target carries as much vitamins as most stores. So one product that we keep continuing to get in the comments of, of people not being able to find it is the Insure. I mean, I'm surprised to see any. We've been to stores where, uh, yeah, it's been completely wiped out. It still continues to be wiped out. Uh, people only seem to like the original. I know that the high protein is very expensive. One thing that I think shies people away from this is not only the price, because it is a lot more, um, but I've heard that it doesn't taste well. I hear it's like pasty or something. <laughs> I don't know. That's what we've heard in the comments. Uh, the original ones are what people are looking for. I never see the chocolate. All I see is the vanilla anymore. They do sell this at Sam's Club, but it is just the vanilla. I uh, haven't been there in a little while, though, so we'll check the next time. I gotta say, lots of gaping holes in these aisles here. Some of the heartburn medicine. I mean, they've got a lot, but as you can see, there is a lot of stuff they're not getting in. I don't know if that is like different brands of products. Like maybe there's certain kinds of Tums that they're not getting in. Oh, okay. So like the up and up version, their version, they're not getting in. But I mean, they have it here. So maybe just the, that's pretty cheap too, $3.99. Um, a lot of antacids, Tums, a lot of Pepto-Bismol. I did see that they were very low on this at Kroger the other day. So one issue that's been coming up a ton in the comments lately over the last couple weeks has been some feminine hygiene products. So I wanted to come over and check this out. Uh, we got a couple emails from some people that it's been very low not being able to find your brand or not being able to find any at all. And as we can see here, it is definitely very low. This is concerning. I mean, this is something, uh, somebody had mentioned something about the cotton. Not really sure if that is a major issue. Here's one brand that somebody was asking about they do have here at Target. I don't know usually how much these are or what like best prices are, but this is something that me and Jessica were talking about because I was asking her like, you know, where is a good spot where they're going to be cheap? She mentioned Target, so we wanted to check here. And again, uh, this is one somebody was asking about saying that they cannot find it anywhere. They do have it at Target, so if you have a Target near you, um, check it out. So again, we've gotten a lot of comments over this stuff over the last couple of weeks. And like the baby formula and everything else, you know, these are things that we need. And... You know, we'll have to keep an eye on it. They, you know, they do seem like they have a good amount. We will check some other stores as we go along, like Kroger and Meyer and some other places. But, you know, it does look like Target does have some. We've gotten comments that it's been completely empty in some stores across the country. So, uh, yeah, we definitely needed to check this out. Plus, um, yeah, the emails were starting to get a little concerning. And we had a very long-time viewer of the channel uh, talk about this a little bit. So... Wanted to make sure that uh, at that point kind of said, okay, well, we need to check it. Another issue, surprisingly, has been toothpaste. Of all things, toothpaste. Now I gotta say, it looks like, I don't know, looks like uh, for Sensodyne, looks pretty low. I mean, I don't know if they really ever carry much. Like I said, we'll have to keep an eye on this stuff so we know in the future, you know, what the lowest prices are and stuff like that. Um, I will try to add some of this stuff into the video still making sure that we are checking out the food and the discounts and the deals and stuff like that. But we need to check out the deals on this stuff too. Um, I don't know if this is some of the cheapest either. $3.99 for Colgate. I don't know. Colgate's like the cheap, right? I don't know. They got some crests down here. I didn't even notice. I thought this was something else. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are pretty expensive crest i mean i know sensodyne's expensive um but it's the good stuff i don't know crazy another issue that we have heard in the comments has been bleach again now we saw five or six months ago where everything was leaving the stores practically that bleach was going off the shelves now i will say pretty much everywhere around here they do have a good amount pretty much everywhere around the city here that we've seen but we've gotten more comments on it so i did want to point out that target does seem to be getting some in and um 
some of this okay that's a bigger one here the up and up bleach is bleach uh i i recommend going to like a dollar store like dollar tree or something you know because it's a lot cheaper and bleach is bleach um you can probably you know if you bought two of them at dollar tree you would spend 250 and it would be a little more in ounces than one of these things of clorox way cheaper one other thing that we have gotten a ton of comments on has been toilet paper again i know toilet paper uh, they do have the 18 super mega rolls of charmin 28.49 that is crazy expensive um but i know some people have said that target is actually a cheaper option uh for some people across the country in toilet paper what the heck charmin soft 30 mega rolls for 31 dollars and 19 cents now they don't have those in seems pretty pricey but as you can see here they do have some pretty huge gaping holes target's usually you know pretty well stocked on toilet paper so it is kind of surprising to see uh all this missing but they still have a ton one thing i did just notice is they finally started getting their up and up brand back in here not a fan of this um we have used it in the past uh this stuff used to be really cheap it used to be 10.99 which it's been a lot it's been over a year since i've probably seen it but 14.79 now eh, i don't know it's a little pricey considering you can get the same thing of the soft and strong at kroger uh for 13.49 now, Kroger's will have a sale on this stuff every now and then. This is usually the price that it always is here. Okay, so we have gotten comments on paper towels too, and I gotta say, this is kind of disturbing. So anybody that's been watching our channel for a long time knows that whenever we come to Target, we always point out the mountains of bounty paper towels here. Now, they still have a bunch, right? But this ain't nothing compared to what they normally have. Normally, this is completely full. All this is full with bounty. All the top is full above this uh, top wall here with Bounty. I don't know. It doesn't look like they're getting any in. This is just stuff that they're selling. Also, this was never here. This was all Bounty, too. This is up and up. So they're even filling in this with their up and up brand. This is kind of crazy. So a few weeks ago, we got a comment on toilet paper again. And then we uh, people were commenting off of that that their toilet paper was low. People were talking about paper towels. And over the last couple of weeks, we've continually gotten some comments on toilet paper and paper towels. I, you know, I, I don't feel like it's as short as it was, obviously, a couple of years ago. But it is a concern because everywhere we saw at Kroger the other day that it was uh, very low, too. We saw some huge gaping holes. Here we're seeing Bounty. Bounty's overly expensive anyway. And it doesn't look like they're getting any in because, you know, the last time I was here, I do kind of glance at it. I don't point it out all the time, but I do kind of glance at it. And I've never seen it this empty, at least over the last couple of years. So, you know, when you go to the store, I would definitely pick up one or two. I'm always a firm believer in leaving some for your neighbor. Don't take, don't take it all. But, you know, this is a concern. Not so much of a concern at Target, but we have been getting a lot of comments on paper plates and some other paper products, cups and stuff like that. So it does look like they're fairly low here than what they normally are. So I did just want to point out that Target does have them. But we are seeing less and less of stuff like this. Another major concern has been the Reynolds Wrap. We've been getting a lot of comments on how people have been having trouble finding Reynolds Wrap. $4.99 for 75 square feet seems to be the price everywhere. A little more for the non-stick. Um, they don't have as much as they normally do. And as a matter of fact, they're, they're kind of spreading it out some here too. Because they this used to be up here with, the, with their brand. And then this would all be Reynolds Wrap. But now, I don't know. They're not getting as much in, so they are kind of spreading it out. Um, some of the prices here, 200 square feet for $10.99. Doesn't sound terrible. Uh, you know, in my opinion, the best place to go is Sam's Club. You can get a ton of Reynolds Wrap. You'll pay a little more, but, you know, at least you'll have it. So I don't really know the deal with some of these garbage bags because the prices just keep going up on these, and they keep going away. Like somebody had mentioned Glad, the Force Flex, which, you know, you can get 100 here for $18.99. We get 200 at Sam's Club of their brand, which is the same thing. Same thing as Force Flex, in my opinion, um, for 200 of them. So, you know, that's why I always bring up Sam's Club because you get <laughs> some major savings. But look at this 
45 bags of this just because it smells better, I guess. $11.29. $11.29. They added five bags and they added like $3. I mean, this is crazy. It just keeps going up and up and up. Even the ones that, uh, okay, so these were 40 bags before. Now they're 50 for $11.29. Now these were $7.99 not that long ago for 40 bags. So they built this awesome little bakery thing here. Favorite day bakery here at Target. Just a few weeks ago, they just put this together. They never have anything on it. They they actually, they have more than they've had. They've got some cookies and stuff like that. But I don't think they've ever had it for what it was intended for. I seem to always gravitate toward the food. <laughs> but I just wanted to point out, like, we haven't seen these. Some collard greens, $3.99, $2.39 for this salad here, romaine. Uh, this good and gather salad, $1.99. Like, these are terrible prices. Ugh. I promised myself I wouldn't cover too much of the food today, but good lord. This is uh, pretty crazy looking. Looks like they're getting wiped out on a lot of stuff. Looks like the uh, crescent rolls went up here. These were $239. $239 and now they are $289. That is ridiculous. And I'm sorry, that's for the Pillsbury Grands here. The Crescent Rolls are actually more expensive, which I don't know why. It's less dough. $3.19. This was $279. So maybe Target's finally getting to some of their uh, price tags here. One major concern that we have gotten in the comments, a lot of people have been commenting that it's not only Jif that has gone away. It has been all of their peanut butters in the stores. And as we look here, there's none. I mean, there's one Skippy Natural here. You know, I know most of the reason why a lot of people aren't trying some of these options because they're pretty expensive. $6.99 for this small thing of peanut butter. I gotta say, it does look good, especially with all the, the peanuts in it. What the heck? Look at that liquid in there. I mean, I guess that's just the mixture. I don't know, maybe you mix it up or something. I don't know, it just <laughs> looks kind of weird. Um, but yeah, this is kind of intriguing. Creamy cashew butter. Let me know if you've ever tried this down in the comments. Let me know if it's any good and if it's worth $7. But yeah, as you can see here. Now, obviously, I, I would say that Jif is probably the most popular out of any of them. And, and you know, they do have Kroger peanut butter. We're going to have to check them when we go to Kroger's here in a few days to make sure they still got peanut butter in. Because we have gotten a lot of comments that people have not been able to find any peanut butter, not just Jif. And yeah, I mean, we were here not that long ago and this was full of peanut butter, but since they don't have Jif, people were probably buying this stuff up like crazy. I gotta say, for the most part, this is looking kind of sad on the bread front here. I mean, they do have some, but it is fairly low. Um, very low, actually. I will say, you know, people are catching on. They're seeing the prices at Kroger and Meyer and all these places around us, and they're remembering that they pay over $5 for a thing of the King Arthur flour the last time they were at Kroger. All these are $4.39, which is, you know, a dollar cheaper. So it's like you don't have to drive too far. If you can think of four to five items that you can buy at Target that is cheaper, it's worth the extra trip, you know, because we do have to think about the gas these days because gas has gotten ridiculous. But, you know, we can tell. We can tell this is obviously way lower than it ever is. And uh, there's some of that cornmeal. Somebody's have, boy, that's, I, I find that for $2.19 everywhere. We've gotten a lot of comments on cooking oil too. Um, you know, this is usually completely full. Now I know they do have some, they've got a bunch actually. And they have Crisco here for $3.99. We've seen that's gone over $5 at a lot of other stores. We've been getting comments about rice more and more. And as we can see here, you know, it is the cheapest here at Target. $2.19 for the Ben's Ready Rice. And we can see they're not getting it in. Um, they're probably not. I mean, they've got three of the things that are the same here. Uh, none of the ones that anybody ever asks about. But look at this. We're definitely, they're not getting this in either. Now, they do have some of the jasmine rice that people always ask about. Um, this is the two pounds for two fifty nine, which is actually a decent price, uh, all considering. But yeah, it's like they're really struggling to get in products again here. I promised myself that I wasn't going to go through the food. 
aisles today, but I had to because there were a lot of things missing that I wanted to point out that you guys have mentioned. Peanut butter being number one. We've gotten 100 comments on peanut butter probably in the last week. So I wanted to check that out. That is something we're going to have to keep an eye on. Another thing that people were curious about is car oil. And I got to say, I kind of feel like they may not have changed the stickers on some of these because these look like they are the same price as they've been for a long time. I know the Quaker State here was $4.79 a while ago. So, um, you know, Penn's oil is five. dollars It might have been $4.99 for the Penn's oil. Um, it's been a while since I've checked. But yeah, we've seen some places where oil's kind of just gone through the roof, obviously because gas has gone through the roof, so oil's going to be pretty expensive too. So with gas prices going through the roof, one thing I just noticed here, look at all these missing bikes. Look at all these bikes. This is usually stacked. All kinds of bikes missing. wonder why that is. Oh, because people are trying to save money. Save money on gas. This is smart. I'm actually happy to see this. Uh, the less and less people drive, the more and more gas prices will go down eventually, hopefully. So it's been a little while, but I just wanted to point out that they do have the Coleman propane uh, propane tanks. Two of them for $7.99. We saw one of them for $7 at Kroger, so that's a pretty good deal. Okay, so coming over to the baby formula aisle here. Just kind of wanted to see what they are getting in. Really filling the gaps in well with all this water, huh? <laughs> Oh, you know, I, I don't know. But they do got these big cases here. Um, so a 12-pack of the Similac Total Care. 33 ounces. This is not the right price for this. Um, and we've been seeing these all over the place. The Similac. Um, this is the sensitive of the Total Care. And they have a bunch of these which is good this is good to see if this is all they can get in right now that's fine at least they're getting some in they do have some of the neo sure here 21.99 boy it's expensive um and yeah they basically this is all they got but at least they got it i mean this is great to see i got the infant formula with iron milk based powder okay powder form all right I know we were getting a lot of comments that people couldn't find any of the powder. There was a recall, seems like half a year ago. I don't know what the delay has been, but, you know, and they do have this Alimentum, which we've gotten some comments on. $11.99, too. That seems a little cheaper. Um, but yeah, they do have some, uh, they got some of this Pediasure, uh, nutrition growth and immune support. Um, I'm not really sure. These say, like, shakes on them, so I don't know. Uh, it's good to see how they got some of the Pedialyte, too. We've gotten some comments that people have been having trouble finding this. Um, I saw this sign a while ago. Kindermill formula will start to arrive in the coming weeks with continued shipments arriving over the next month. Visit Target.com for more information. I do have the Infamil plant-based infant formula, but... Anyway, this is great to see. Good to see they're finally getting some in. Well, that's all the time we have for our trip to Target today. I hope I covered a lot of the things that have been a growing concern uh, here in the comment section. Uh, we've gotten a lot of comments on all the stuff that we pointed out today. Even the stuff we pointed out in the food area was stuff that keeps coming up in the comments. So I want to make sure that we covered at least the things at Target for the week. We will be checking some of the same things at Meyer, Kroger, some of the other stores that we have around here we will be going back to walmart probably soon to check on some of this stuff because i know they will probably have a good amount of the things that we looked at today probably for better prices so we'll check that out um but yeah i wanted to get to this today like i said me and jessica were talking about a lot of these things like the toothpaste the feminine products stuff like that where would be the best sales where's where's the place most likely to have the most very low here at target but they do have them in, and it's good to see. It's good to see all the baby formula that they have in here, too. Uh, as we saw last week, it was pretty pretty much empty. All they had was the water and a couple of those little six-packs. They're definitely getting more of that in. But, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.